are you telling me that that we will be ch chipped for a better word like the like the mark of the beast in the bible discusses but uh, couldn't they of course they didn't understand the chip that, that they're talking about or is there a new process exactly. that, that they will use so I, I, it, I believe that there it'll become as simple as kind of more of like LASIK. It's not going to be some crazy invading of our skull to put chips in. As the advancement of technology uh, takes place, it will become more and more simple. Um, and, you know, you might think you might be too old fashioned and conservative to ever think you would do everything, anything like that. Well, as we know, there is about 50 million plus people uh, in America that do not agree with our way of life. So yeah. will they? I think so. And so right now, I have an article here that says Elon Musk says Neuralink. So Neuralink is a company that he owns and it is studying BCIs, which is brain to computer interfaces. And he says that they could start implanting chips into human brains later oh this year. And they're making radical advances right now. You know, this is one of those articles I'm going to read next that you laugh at. Like, well, that's pretty crazy. But then but really, really just sit there and think about the implications of this. Oh, my God. Elon Musk says he has wired up a monkey's brain to play video games. Elon Musk says one of his startups has a monkey with wires going into its brain that's able to play video games. He's a happy monkey, said Musk. Oh. He said God. videos of the plugged-in simians would be released soon, perhaps in around a month. We have a monkey with a wireless implant in their skull with tiny wires who can play video games with his mind. You can see where the implant is, and he's a happy monkey. Musk explained that the goal with the brain linking technology is addressing brain and spinal injuries. That's the initial phase. Sure, that's and making up people's yeah. lost capacity with an implanted chip. Now, oh my Lord. understand that what this means is that he has these little wires going to his brain in this monkey. And they're literally seeing his brain activities and in which his neurons are firing to different locations within his brain. And they're able to determine what the monkey is thinking. And he can control the video game computer that is in front of him. There was another uh, additional study in which um, they sat down several individuals and they had them listen to, I don't remember what it was. It was like, it, you could pick between one or 50 different songs. And the AI did not know what song you were listening to, but it would measure your brain activity in which way the neurons were firing. And it would be able to tell you, and this is 2021, this, this, this is the infancy of this technology. And they were able to tell you with nearly 90% accuracy. Hmm? What, what song are you listening to? There was... There was about 50 different songs that the uh, the subjects in this case oh study God. could listen to. And whenever they would pick the song and no one else would know what song they picked, the AI would not know initially what song they picked. That was up to the subject. Yeah. And these are human subjects. And they would measure the brain activity and the artificial intelligence would be able to tell them with 90% accuracy what they were listening to. And this is the infancy of that type of technology. And I need to make this clear as well. This Elon Musk, okay? I mean, this isn't, uh, this isn't your crazy Uncle Ed telling you what he has read on some, you know, deep web outlet that has oh. zero credibility and, and, and is simply written by somebody else who's even weirder and crazier Uncle Ed, right? I mean, this... This is the founder and owner of Tesla, valued yeah. on Wall Street as of January at $773 billion. He's the founder and owner of Tesla. He's Mr. the Space. founder and owner, yeah. uh, yes, uh, exactly, of SpaceX. My mm -hmm. God. He's the owner and owner of SpaceX, founder and owner uh, of Neuralink, all billion dollar companies. And he is the rich, well, I was going to say he's the richest man in all of the world. Depending um, and he was named the richest. It, depending on what day it is, because it keeps going yeah. back from Bezos, Bezos to, to yeah. Elon. Because he 
he was in uh, second place with Bill Gates for, for many, many months. And, and now he's going back and forth as the richest man. And so the richest man in the world is making wow. radical advances for brain to computer interfaces to put within humans already successful trials with simians, with monkeys, and uh, looking to start his, his first trials with humans by the end of this year. Let me say this. This is what's crazy. Fact. This is what mm -hmm. I, I find terrifying, really terrifying in what you're saying. And this is why you're so important. I remember when credit cards, I'm old enough to remember when credit cards, they had TV shows on how to use and what a credit card was. And I remember my dad saying, that's ridiculous. That's, that's like controlling our, our money. And I says, what are you talking about? Let me tell you something. They, they don't want cash in our world anymore. And I've gone from having cash and traveling, and now I just got to I just swipe the card, two dollar bag of peanuts. I'll swipe the card rather than give give money. So the power of of commerce to change the attitude of the mindset of society has already been proven. How many? You're wearing a mask. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And you go to enough stores, and people say. Where's your mask? You comply. You end up complying with the society. And what these guys are depending on, I really believe this, is that they are, they are, they will, you're talking about the 50 million that doesn't believe like us. There, there is their seed bed, and they'll make it so normal for this to happen that when it comes to our turn, it will be very difficult. And I mean, I, I, the mark of the beast, and I was thinking with these monstrous men going around with a stamp, you know, ah, oh, you come here. And we're gonna... That is not how it's going to work. They're going to come in, in the most wonderful concepts of how, this will change your world. You can see better. You can think better. You can, you'll never be sleepy. The, you know, we'll do all of these things for you. And I, I fear without a voice that's strong in the church, and this is what terrifies me, we don't, have, we don't have a strong enough voice unless God does something to stand up as a resistance against this overwhelming technology um, wave that's coming at us.